Hey, it's Justin Kanoya, DJ, business coach, and idea sharer. And in this video, I've got another virtual DJ tip explaining the differences in the loop direction options. Backward, forward, or smart? Which will you choose? Looping a song is something that has been part of DJ culture since the beginning. Back in the day, DJs used to loop break beats by taking two copies of the same record, playing the break on one while spinning the other record back to the beginning of the beat and continuously switching back and forth. Things are a little bit easier for DJs these days because all we need to do is select the length of our loop and simply hit a button. And in fact, software like Virtual DJ has made it even easier because we can also choose the direction of the loop. Here's a look at how to configure this in Virtual DJ. Loop direction options can be found in the loop menu. Click on this dot and then we can see the options for the loop direction. This is where you can select forward, backward, or smart. Now these are pretty self-explanatory, but just so I'm being thorough, here are the definitions straight out of the virtual DJ manual. When set to forward, the loop will start at the current position of the track. When set to backward, the loop will end at the current position of the track. When set to smart, virtual DJ will automatically choose the best position. When this is set to smart, I'm not really sure what the criteria for best position is, but I've tested this and it doesn't seem to work with success each time. And while this is a nice feature, I'd stick to just setting it on backward or forward. Now what you choose between those two options really is up to your preference. There are definitely times when I haven't set my loop properly and so setting it forward had me looping a section of vocals or some other beat that I didn't really want. So here's an example of that. I'm gonna roll this back a little bit. And where it says Q2, I'm gonna start a four beat loop going forward. Whoops. Now let's do that exact same point, but we're gonna do four beats backwards. So that's much cleaner and would have been better than going forward. In theory, backward looping might be the safest because you will always be looping something that you just heard. But the thing is, if you know your music well, you should have a pretty good idea of what is coming up at least within four to eight beats. In the end, like many things with DJing and working with software, it comes down to your personal preference and what is most comfortable for you. Is your loop preference set to backward or forward? Or maybe you have it set to smart and it's worked perfectly for you. Either way, let me know what your preference is and do you usually use four or eight beats? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video or found it helpful, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel for more virtual DJ tips just like this. Thank you for watching. I'm DJ Justin Kanoya and I'll see you next time online.